Welcome back to Blar. We're going to talk about Space and Beyond, Choose Your Own Adventure, book number three. It has 42 endings you can get. I read through one of the stories. Got a pretty decent ending. We'll check it out. All right, here's Space and Beyond, book number three of Choose Your Own Adventure by R.A. Montgomery. Got your 42 endings right here. You got your ending tree, looks like, back here. So I, I don't say played through, but I read through one of the scenarios. It took me about 15 minutes of Space and Beyond, some black and white art dedication has this like Star Wars kind of scroll getting you ready for the story here and yeah, not too many spoilers you're gonna pick a planet that you're from and that's gonna start your path on which where you're gonna go so I think I chose Croyd and I ended up going to back in time actually instead of going to the future or say in the current space because you could choose from like being a commander uh, staying in school being part of a research team so Ended up being part of a research team, going back in time to the Milky Way galaxy, which these aren't in. These are in their own galaxies, like Pintum, Ufos. I'm saying that right, maybe, I don't know. Um, so you go back in time, well, I went back in time to the Milky Way galaxy to help the planet Mars become a better planet. I'll tell you a little bit of backstory, because I'm not going to tell you the whole story in case maybe you pick this up and choose that adventure. It was fun to read. It was a really fun, like, 15-minute read, and definitely... There's more to read, of course, as you can see. Uh, I don't know what the colors mean. Like, green is probably good. Maybe red is bad. Maybe. Not sure about that. But, like I said, Space and Beyond, that first read was fun. It was a cool little story. And I think it was a decent ending where our, our team helped Mars. So, I guess I will spoil it. <laughs> so, our research team was there to, like, make them find a better way of doing things. Space and Beyond. Choose Your Own Adventure. I believe it originally came out in 1980. This might be a reprint by this cover. It looks like they got reprinted. If I can find it. Let's see here. So yeah, this one says copyright 1980. And like this book may have been... Down here, it's 2006. So I don't know if it's a reprint or not. I, I think it is with this kind of cover. Most Choose Your Adventures have like the white border with the art in the middle of it there. This is like a full cover art. They all have these spines like that with the Red Choose Your Adventure. It's pretty easy to see in the thrift store for me since I grab these when I can. Because I, I like this series. So if you see it, I suggest it. Check it out. Any Choose Your Own Adventure kind of book. They're fun, quick reads, and you can read them multiple times. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.